Welcome back. In today's exciting episode, we're going to talk about one of the most frustrating parts of a JavaScript ecosystem, the module system. There's a bunch of different errors and kind of a big mess associated with this. I'm going to attempt to show you how all this stuff works together so you can better understand the module system and how to debug errors in your project. I have a very basic project here with nothing at all. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and specify the module system. There's two different ones for Node.js, CommonJS, which is the require and exports format, and module, which is the ESM, so import and export. I'm going to use the default value for now just to demonstrate what happens. We're going to work through, add things like TypeScript and bundlers, just to get an idea of how these things work together. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and just go const foo is equal to require foo. We are using CommonJS, which uses the require format. Uh, very important, remember the syntax correctly or you're going to have a big problem. The next thing we're going to do is do a console log on foo. Foo is not a module at all, there's nothing here. I'm just going to go ahead and execute this anyway, just to give you an idea of what's happening. And then we're going to work through this and see how ESM is a little bit different and how they work together. In this case, I'm getting undefined, and this is perfectly fine, uh, in, at least in CommonJS. This is not a module, I haven't got an extension here, but it doesn't matter, CommonJS is very lenient, it will do its best to run the code, and in this case, it successfully executes this script. We're now going to change our project to be the more modern ESM, uh, which uses the import and export syntax, and see what happens and see what error messages we get. We're now using an ES module project here. I wish it was like this, but it's not. You have to write module, and we're going to try and use the wrong format. We're getting an error, and you've no doubt seen this error before. Require is not defined in the ES module scope. This is often the start of a very long and tedious and frustrating debugging system, but by the end of this, you're going to understand how this works and hopefully have a better time debugging this stuff. The problem in this case is we're using ESM and we're not using import and export, we're using require, which is part of CommonJS. Uh, we're going to fix this one up for now the easy way by just going and saying import, and this is going to give us the correct uh, format, and this should hopefully work. No doubt you've seen code like this before, uh, unfortunately this is not going to work, and here is why. We're getting an error, it says uh, this is not a module, we're getting module not found, and the reason is because foo is not actually a module right now, to make something into a module in ESM, you need to have an export keyword somewhere in the module. So I'm going to say export const foo is equal to foo. This is now going to be a valid ESM module. If we go ahead and run this right now, you probably think this is going to work, but of course it is not going to work. We're getting exactly the same error. And the problem here is we're not using the extension correctly. In ESM, you must provide an extension. Uh, so in this case, foo.js. Uh, you've probably seen code like this and you're probably wondering why this often works. And there's a couple of reasons why this works. Sometimes it should work, sometimes it shouldn't. And I'm going to explain that one in just a moment. But before I do, let's fix this up and get something running. And now everything is working as expected. So this whole extension thing is kind of a big part of the problem. And we're going to understand this better by going ahead and installing TypeScript. Uh, now that that's installed, I'm going to do a few things. We're going to create a new TS config by saying TSC dash dash init. And note the default is target ES 2016, but module is common JS. Very important, do not forget this, it's going to be important very soon. Before we go any further, I'm going to go ahead and show you another common error. I'm going to go ahead and compile my project, and we're going to get this error here. No inputs were found. And the problem here is we haven't got any TS files. Let's go ahead and update these from JS to be TS. The next thing I'm going to do is change one setting in my TS config, and that's going to be my output directory. I'm going to put them in a different directory for what I'm currently doing right now. We're going to say output dir is going to be dist, just to separate our files a little bit. Just as another reminder, we're going to see our module common JS here. And this is part of the problem. Right now our project is an ES modules project, as it says right here, but TypeScript doesn't know about this. All it's going to do is uh, do things based on the configuration here, which is not necessarily what you want or expect, especially in this case when I'm really wanting to use ES modules. Let's go ahead and give this a try and see what happens. If we head back to our uh, terminal now, I'm going to recompile this and see what happens. Is this successfully going to compile? Let's go ahead and take a look at the generated code. And I'm actually going to do these side by side just so you can see exactly what's going on. See our original code is using ESM, we're using import and export. And if we look at the output code, this is not what you would expect at all. You'd probably expect to have something similar, but you're actually getting common JS here. It's converting the import to be a require. And this is part of the confusion. You're expecting to use ESM as you are defining it here, but the output is based on TS config and specifically our con module, our common JS module right here. So this in fact, although it is valid code, uh, it's not going to work with our specified runtime. 
just to show you what happens here, we're going to go ahead and attempt to execute this one. And of course, we're going to get the exact same error or a very similar error to what we saw before. We're getting exports is not defined in ES module scope. The problem here is uh, exports doesn't exist here. This is part of CommonJS and ESM doesn't know about this. Uh, theoretically, this should just be an exports is undefined error, but Node.js has been a little bit more helpful here and giving us a bit of a hint. We have a few different options here. Uh, we can either change our package JSON to be a common JS project. Uh, we're going to continue using the import syntax, knowing that it's going to be compiled into something completely different. Uh, this is definitely not my preference. I would like my outputted code to be as very similar to my inputted code as possible. And there's a few ways we could do that. What I'm going to do is what I think is most correct in this case, and that's to specify the module that I'd like to use when I run my code. In this case, it's going to be node 16. Let's go ahead and see how this changes our compilation going to go ahead now and recompile this and we're going to get a fairly different output. And you can see now our output is very, very similar to our input, uh, exactly what you would expect. If we go back to foo, it's also going to be almost identical as well, which is really nice to see. Uh, if we go ahead now and run this, it is going to work correctly. Uh, and this is a, just an example of one of the many issues you make run into. You need to make sure what you're trying to run it in or your environment is actually the same as what you're compiling to. In this case, it's very simple because I have a single TS config, but once you start to bring in bundlers, a topic for another video, we're going to see why this becomes a whole lot more confusing. Just as a reminder, you need to have this extension here. And this is another confusing part. I'm saying I want foo.js, but there is no foo.js, right? It's all going to be foo.ts. Uh, it turns out that TypeScript is fine with this. It's going to strip this away uh, when it gets compiled. And what we end up with is JavaScript files over here. Again, this can be kind of confusing and this also can be valid as well, depending on how you configure TS config. So um, again, another point of confusion. Uh, this video is already getting very, very long. Uh, if you'd like to learn more, I've written a blog post about it. I'll link you that. Uh, there's a good video from the Node.js creator on some of his regrets. Uh, the documentation is actually not too bad, but ultimately the best way to learn this stuff is just go and create some projects, change one config option at a time, Make sure you just do one at a time or it gets too confusing. Compile your code, see what happens and repeat the process until you really understand what is going on. If you enjoy this kind of content, learning about how things work under the hood, I'm writing a book about it. You could go ahead and sign up for this mailing list and I'll let you know how things are progressing. Either way, that brings me to the end of this video and I will see you in the next episode.